Hello friends! So this is my 2017 planner. I got it from personalplanner.com. Uh, I had seen uh, quite a few videos on it. In 2016 I was using the plum paper because I had just recently discovered the planner community and I could not quite afford an Erin Condren. So I got a plum paper and it was just too big for me. I didn't like having to uh, carry it around when I wanted to carry it around. And then I started leaving it at home and I felt like I was missing out on having the planner with me. So I decided to go with a more personal size and this was just one that I thought really worked for me because I could customize it. Now this is not a true unboxing obviously because today is Monday and this arrived Saturday. Okay, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I made the order November 12th, a Saturday. By the 14th, it was processed and in printing, and by the 16th, it had shipped out. So, one, two, three, and a few days, three weeks and a few days, was how long it took to get through customs and into the U.S., the thing about Personal Planner that I really liked is that you can really, really customize it. Like, you can customize the, uh, I don't actually know what this is called. It's like a cord that keeps it closed. I just chose black because I wasn't, none of the other colors really went with the cover that I chose. But it comes with a little, it's, it's not little, it's really very durable plastic. And then you can customize the cover. I went with a picture that they already had uploaded on their website. I just used their editor a little bit and kind of added a filter to it to make it kind of a brighter. And you can kind of see around the edges where it had like a black frame around it, but I tried to crop that out. Didn't work exactly the way I wanted to. And then I just went with my name in 2017. A lot of the videos that I saw said that this page wasn't like that uh, sturdy, but I really think it is, so I don't know if it's the picture that you choose, like if you choose one from their website, or if you uh, upload your own, so I don't know if maybe that has something to do with it, but this one is really actually very sturdy, and combined with this, I think that it's going to last the whole year. On the inside, it has the little story of how the couple came about starting Personal Planner, designed by you, made in Sweden. I really like that design by you thing. I don't know why. On this page, you could customize it. Uh, I just went with a blank page because I think I'm going to use like stickers to decorate it and everything. And now the reason this is not a true unboxing is because I played around with it a little bit. I used some washi tape and a sticker from the Happy Planner sticker books. But I wanted to show this because the ruler, you can customize the ruler to whatever color you want. Again, I just went with clear because I thought that it fit in with my planner, like the cover and everything the best. So, next is the monthly pages. And it has the same customized top border thing that you can put on all of the weekly pages as well. I just went with gray and stars because... Most of the time, like I did over here, I'm probably going to cover it up with washi tape. And even if I don't, gray is a very neutral so that it'll fit in with everything else. Another thing that I really liked about the personal planner is the monthly pages coordinate with the weekly pages. It's a Monday through Sunday format instead of a Sunday through Saturday. And I really like that because sometimes my personal planner was a... Sunday through Saturday monthly view and sometimes I got off transferring things from the monthly view pre-planning to the weekly view actual planning. So I really like this. I think it'll help a lot with that and it's got the holidays and the, I guess because I chose the USA uh, holidays it's got little American flags next to the holidays that are strictly US. And then for my weekly pages, I'll go over this one on the weekly pages since it's blank. Again, I went with gray, neutral, and stars for the top border. 
I went with no modules. You can add in like to-do lists and weekly meals and stuff down here. I just went blank so that I can either cover it up if I don't need it or I can just write if I need the space for like a weekly to-do list or anything. The one that I ended up getting as far as the weekly layout was obviously the vertical layout and it's completely blank. I had gone in and made another planner, kind of played around with another planner, where the top of it was an hourly section, and the bottom of it was this blank. And I had really liked that, and I actually thought that I ordered that one, but I guess, because I put the same cover on them, I guess I got them mixed up. So, anyway, it will just have to do, it's not, it's not a big, big deal. They also have the... Again, they have the holidays in the weekly layouts. And then it's got the day, like, the day of the year instead of the day of the month. So it's like two, three, four. But then back here in September, it's 255, 256, 257. So if you need to know what day of the year it is. But it does that through... All of them. And then again, like Martin Luther King Day has the American flag on it. But then there was and then February. Each month has a different color accent. They put that accent on the monthly view and down here in the little calendar on the weekly view. Uh, like this, World Ukulele Day. There's a little ukulele, so it's kind of decorated a little bit for you already. Valentine's Day has a heart. See, March is orange. Another thing is each monthly section has the coordinating color on the side so you can tell where it is. I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well. April is yellow. May is green. June is like a green, like a dark green. July is a teal color. August is a really pretty blue color. I really like that color. September is kind of a teal color, but like a darker, more of a green teal. October is kind of a dark purple color. November is more of a true purple color. And December is a red. So now we're at the customizable part. Uh, what I went with was, was an overview of 2017. Which now that I'm looking at, I kind of wish that maybe I hadn't done it. Because I'm going to use the monthly pages for pre-planning. Originally when I was going through there, I was like, I'll use this for pre-planning. But I don't know. I maybe, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'll have to find something so that it doesn't go completely to waste. But it's January through June and then July through December. And I also went with the 2018 version so that I can pre-plan again with actual pre-planning in it because obviously I'll need 2018. But again, it has the same way, six months on each page. And this little pouch comes with it as well. The pouch and the stickers. I just put the pouch in there so I can separate it out from those two. The rest that I did was grid paper and lined paper. So nothing too exciting. The back cover, again, has the plastic, and then just kind of, it's the edge of the sunflower, actually, and then kind of faded out sunflowers in the back. But that's my personal planner, and it also came with these stickers. Which way does it open? It's this way. Has cool tones and warm tones, birthday banners icons, emojis, these little word icons. So something else that I wanted to do is look at how well my stickers that I bought fit into the personal planner. Uh, if you've watched my last video, it was the flip through of these uh, happy planner stickers. I'm actually going to go to the one that I decorated a little bit because that's why I pulled this out. Again, you can remove that. I just kind of want to see how well this works as far as how well they fit. Because, like, this is the same as, same width as the full box. So I just want to see, like, oh yeah. Yeah, there's definitely enough space in there. 
I'm just going to put it on Thursday. I'll find something to do that 29th. I'll find something to write on there. Yeah. Like, there's, like, it doesn't fit perfectly because these boxes are wider than the Happy Planner. But, obviously, it's not too bad to where it makes no sense to have it in there. Another sticker sheet that I bought are these binder labels. I got them from the dollar section at Target during back to school time. And they were too wide for the plum paper. So I'm going to see how well they fit in this one. And I just have a red one. I was, I think I'm going to use these for TV shows. But I'm not for sure. Oh yeah, they fit like almost perfectly in there. So that's nice. So yay. The last thing that I wanted to do in this video, I'm probably just going to do it on this page. The two types of pens that I use most often are the Papermate Flare and the Sharpie pen. So I'm going to do a pen test to see how well those work. So let's try with the Papermate Flare. Let's do it this way. Now this is just the regular paper make flare. I know there's like a fine tip one and I there, think there's a newer one that's out too. But this is just the original medium point one. And then the Sharpie pen is more of a fine point pen. So let's see how well that one works. And I just chose the black. Because that's, it's the one that I use the most often. But also I feel like it will show any... Thing on the other side better. Okay. Let's see. No, I think my pens are going to be perfect. All right, so that is my planner. I hope you really enjoyed this video, and I'll leave the link for personal planner down below if you want to go and check it out. If you'd like to see any plan with me's, let me know, and I will be more than happy to film something. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, friends.